and paste it. And that's gonna be the song artist. And artist. And that's just artist there. And then let's do the uh, progress bar. So let's just put a re rectangle. Um, here you go. And the rounded rectangles, let's get rid of those rounded rectangles. Yeah, and let's give it a stroke of actually black anyway. We'll just keep in tradition, we'll just take it from Photoshop the colour. So this is let's select the round the rectangle and choose the stroke. Make it one. Give it the colour of what I took from Photoshop. And set this back to a hundred percent looking pretty good and this has a gradient so let's get rid of that gradient just to a fill and that fill is this color there you go okay so then there's a a left progress time and a, and a right progress time so let's put Let's just copy this to be quick. And we'll put this one over here. Ugh. And we'll call this progress time left. And let's just, just put a arbitrary number 9999. Copy that and progress and move that all the way down here and call this progress time right. Minus ninety-nine. And looking good. All we've got left now are this left button and this right button, so let's just quickly do that. In fact, what I'll do is I'll do that in um, during this break that I'm just going we're going to go into, and when we come back, I'll go through copying the XAML into the wireframe. Uh, welcome back. Uh, continuing on from uh, the previous video. Uh, well, let's continue on with finishing the dis this display here. So going back to Blend, here it is um, completed. Uh, what I did further from the previous video uh, was add the left button, the right button, which is just a circle with these paths inside, and I've called the left button canvas a left button, and it has, as you can see, an ellipse, which is a circle, and a, a path, which is for the triangle. And this one is called the right button, and in that grouping we have an ellipse and a path, two paths for the triangle and the bottom part of the arrow. And I've also added a progress dot, this thing here, which shows us the um, where the song is at while it's being played. So that is the XAML, and that's ready to be pasted into the wireframe. So what I'll do is I'll take a copy of the XML for that XAML and I'll go to my uh, project and what I'll do is there's already an existing I've already made a copy of the previous template and I've called it 6 so what I'll do is I'll create a 
a new XML file which is going to house that XAML. So I'll call this one the me uh, the display media display media display and extension XAML. And if I go and paste this code in the media display, then what I'll do is I'll wire up, I'll go into the Create Silverlight JS and I'll make a copy of the Create SL4, which is the media controller, and I'll create a s uh, one for the fifth control, call it Create SLC5. And the XAML is called Media Display. Display. And the control that it's going to be sitting in within the wireframe is this area here, Control 5. So, Div Control 5. And the width is roughly about, what was it in Blend? So if I click on this, we have 500 by 60, so set that to 500 by 60, and the onload will make a new function called onload5. So that's everything in Create Silverlight.js wired up correctly. So let's go here, and what we'll do is we'll create a new onload, which is titled 5. running a bit slow in my machine. There you go. Alright, so 5, and I'll create a new control that help a variable that will host that control, ag5, and I'll pass that to 5. Now these variables will be used later when I wire up the events, and I need to access the easily access those controls, those silverlight controls. So that's those two wired up, and all I've got to do now is generate the um, spit out the actual silverlight control onto the web page so I'll copy this script is this a script for control 4 and use it for control 5 and just the hook function SLC 5 that's that wired up so this was um, the previous control 5 so let's call control let's call the sixth one and there it is there's the new Silverlight control. All the um, components for this Silverlight control are, can be wired up, and which I'll do la in, a, in a future posting. But it's looking very close to the iTunes top navigation here. All right. So let's thank you, and I'll look f I'll f look forward to um, meeting you in the next post.